Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. <clears throat> Got out of the shower and uh, hope everybody doing good. Tuesday the 20th, almost nine o'clock Mountain Montana time. Down south in Texas, it's uh, going on 10 o'clock. Anyway, uh, a lot of stuff going on and. Uh, I hope you're doing your research. Uh, haven't got any comment on uh, what I said, how to prepare for a hurricane. Things I think he's put out by FEMA or somebody like that. Uh, never heard any comments on that. So, And if you looked, I know you've seen what I see. I mean, Okay. Anyway, uh, it was real windy. There's a lot of fires down south of Montana. Uh, and even in Canada, I believe, there's some wildfires. So, prayers out to everybody that's fighting the fires and those that are affected by the fire. So, prayers out to y'all. And I, I pray throughout the day. You know, Lord help them, Lord bless them with rain or, you know, to maybe help control the fire and put it out. So, anyway, uh, uh, asymmetrical prepper, I think his name Mike, I could be wrong. He had was here a while back, you know, I watched these videos and you know, I listen. Whether it you know, sparks a light bulb or lights up a bulb or sparks a whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, I always listen and and watch the videos. His are usually about twenty minutes or so. Some of them are even shorter tip of the day stuff like that check him out magic prepper is doing some live stuff now i think once or twice a week once a week i'm pretty sure i can say once a week i don't know what his name is uh, magic prepper asymmetrical prepper people you know they're good good guys uh, Anyway, asymmetrical prepper had talked about shoes and footwear, walking, getting in shape. You know, uh, I can go. The furthest I've went here lately, before I came back up here and go to work, is uh, I'm gonna. 10, 11 miles, I think I went with 32 pound pack. So, and I could go more. You know, I could take a little break and uh, go farther. And I was proud of myself, you know. It wasn't no fast pace. It took me a little bit. I can't remember how long. I think it was uh, three and a half, four hours, I think. I don't remember. I have to scroll back into my fitness app or whatever. But anyway, he was talking about shoes, taking care of your feet, so you can maintain a steady stride, you know. Well, I always, use, I always wear Skechers. I love Skechers shoes. They've got a variety of shoes, and I love them. I always wear boots for the most part. You know, 12 plus hours a day, I wear boots. And uh, they're comfortable. I don't remember the brand of them. I keep them in the car. I don't wear them in the room or 
wherever I'm at, I don't wear them. I take them off with my shoes on. I think these, these here are sketchers. And I'm gonna tell you, these are some good shoes. And I, I need to quit wearing them because these are my Sunday go to church shoes and I need to quit wearing them things. But our church, you show up, we'll pop you in the corner. We're good, you know. Uh, we're just glad to have you. Um, but my feet, even in these new shoes, my boots, my other sketcher, uh, running shoes, they were, my right foot, mostly, my, my left foot was kind of like my heel, and it just, my right foot especially, I mean, it would hurt all the way up to my knee and my upper leg, you know, I'm like, what the heck, and I went on, and on. that's how come, you know, we got these, you know, they bothered me. I got them bunny shoes, fitness shoes, and they were bothering me. It's bad. I was walking, in, you know, with that pack, and I'm like, am I that bad out of shape that I, I just, my feet are just gone? Well, <clears throat> he was talking about shoes, and I believe he said something about socks. And most of my life, I wore thick socks. Cause to me, that was extra cushion, you know? And I got, These are what I used to wear, and they're pretty thick, you know. I wore these for years. Well, I went to Haynes, and I think these are Haynes as well. No, these are Fula de Loon. These are thin. They got some cushion I guess you'd say but these are thin socks and I bought a big old bag of them <coughs> <coughs> it was windy and dusty all day today um, I bought a big old bag of these they, it was a pretty good deal I don't remember how many it was a big bag and, uh, for whatever reason, well, I started throwing these away because I'm wearing the heels out. Remember I said my heels, seemed like my heels were just digging in and was bothering me. So I went to these. And at first I didn't like them. They're kind of thin and, you know, I just like old school. I want some tough thick socks my feet do not bother me at all when I wear these dead gum socks none I walk all day long I walked seven miles here the other day uh, last week yeah 14,000 some odd steps It might be the bother me, and I walk all the time. Well, I got to thinking the other day. I'm like, you know what? Well, here's the deal. I wore my old, my good, trusty, lifelong thick sock. I wore these things. And my feet started bothering me. And I'm like, I'm on to something here. You know, I ain't the brightest one in the, you know, 
in the room of lights, but and the next day I put these back on these thin ones and not a problem. So think about <clears throat> having to walk a long ways. Uh maybe to get away. If you can sprint, you can run, you know, I used to I used to jog two miles in the morning, two miles in the afternoon. I'm talking about getting after it. And I would carry a little day pack with about 10, 15 pounds in it back then, you know. Uh, but, yeah. Then I worked out at gym three days. The trainer had me on schedule. It was uppers, lowers, combo with a bicycle. That's three days. One, two, three, and then I would take off a day. And then I'd go back in three days, upper, lower, da, da, da. You know, just all the time. I, you know, I'm bragging, but I was stout. I was built. I had to have, I had to custom order my blue jeans because I wear Wranglers all the time. I had to custom order 27s. 2734s because anything bigger than that would fall off of me. So, and I was pretty stout. I was 16 and a half. I'm a small frame guy. 16 and a half in the chest. Again, I had to have shirts. You know, there was an alteration place in Dallas back you know where I grew up but and uh, so I mean I had to custom order most of my clothes in order for it to fit and I didn't look like a dang young bag man you know running around but anyway uh, have some good shoes have some good socks I grew up most of my life, and even today, I wear boots the majority of the time. And I will admit that towards the end of the day, about 3 4 o'clock or so, and I'm still walking, I'm starting to feel my boots because they're still toe heavy traction boots. So, I'm, you know, I noticed. Towards the end of the day, my feet are kind of bother me a little bit. But when I wear these shoes or these uh, running shoes I got, not a problem. A freaking pair of socks. So try that out. If you have a problem with your feet, standing, walking for a long period of time, you know, and your feet bother you, check your insoles. And check your socks. Believe me, you don't have to have these big, thick socks. And they do not. And if you think that they give you that extra cushion, padding, no. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Not for me. Uh, but, get out and walk. And, you know, do a little bit of grade, you know, uphill, all that. Now, you have to be careful. Now, uphill, when you're kind of climbing, not a mountain, you know, 34, 45 degree, I mean, a 34 degree, whatever mountain, anyway, 45. But anyway, you're not climbing a mountain. I'm talking about a good walk, a physical fitness walk and try to hit some grade, you know, where you have to climb a little bit and uh, and go with it. Now, I would suggest a walking stick or walking sticks and that will help you push, you know, instead of your leg doing all the pushing, you can kind of keep a little force on your walking sticks, you know, and you have to extend them when you're going up a grade. 
you have to extend them a little bit. Because whenever you push off, you'll be down here with your arm. But you need you need it right here. Somewhere around here is where you need that extra push and extra support. When you're going downhill, you need to shorten your poles a little bit because that will wear your knees out and stuff quicker than anything is going down. Because if you think about it, your foot is doing this. Well, your knee's catching the brunt of that downhill. I, I, I got a bad knee. And if I go downhill and I don't watch it, I'll, that knee will let me know how oh, you need to stop. You need to do something else. But shorten your poles a little bit so you have the push here. Because you're here and your poles, but you need the poles to come out here a little bit and kind of take that force away from being on your feet and your knees and your legs. Try to get that balance. And there's videos on that. Uh, so you need to work your trekking poles, work them to where they fit you, and you want you want to stay here where you're going along, and you stop here. This is a natural thing to do this. When you walk or you run, what do you do? I don't, I don't do this. I, I don't do all this. The natural jog, trek, you know, sprint, whatever. You're doing this. So have your trekking poles adjusted to where you stay in this range here and I guarantee you'll help your back and your, your hips and your legs and knees feet to have that balance of force transfer that force into your poles but get the right shoes get the right whatever footwear and Go, try different socks. You don't have to buy a big old package like I did. Uh, shoot, I think I got like 28 pair of these dick you know, socks. I got brand new ones that are still in the drawer at the house. You know, these are brand new. I haven't worn these. These are brand new socks. I have, you know, so many. I just, I do a new pair of socks. I'm going to try them today, you know. But anyway, think about it you may have to walk a long ways uh, if you're at work or your car goes out and you're stuck on the highway there's a bunch of crap going on you may have to get your bag and go and walk your own Amazon trekking poles are not that expensive you know you've seen mine look in the past video and retro spec I think or whatever <sighs> my wife used one I've used them for a while now and they're good they're good uh, poles you don't have to buy the high end unless you're going on a long through hike on the you know the Appalachian Trail or Pacific whatever a different trail. You don't. You, now you might want to for longevity. That little extra hump, you know. But them I got, I wouldn't be afraid. I mean, to go out on a, a long trek, a long through hike, you know, for a while. I mean, long ways. I wouldn't. I would 
grab them and go because I, I know how to use them and if you adjust it or you need to use it it will help you a lot you'll be surprised uh, but guys I'm gonna get off here socks shoes insoles take care of your feet and if you do that you'll feel a difference on the wear and tear on your knees your calf muscles your hip your back trust me I know because I have back problems I have knee problems and I want that little simple thing right there the pair of socks I have not had a pain issue one with my feet not any Anyway, take care, guys. Have a good night. I will get back on there tomorrow and kind of fill you in on what I got going on. Check out the news, the real news, and see what's going on. There's a lot of crap going on out there, so be careful. Be prepared. Learn something new like primitive skills. We'll see y'all.